Hi friends and season's greetings. Today I'm going to be taking you through a tutorial for how to create a beautiful poinsettia dancer or lady in red as I like to call her. I'm going to start with a sketch on some arches hot press paper and I'm going to create some beautiful petals that all emanate from one central point. In the middle of this flower, I'm going to start creating the torso of a figure. I'm using my technique of blocking off the proportions first, and if you haven't seen my video about that, I'll link it in the card above. My figure is of course ballet inspired, with her arms up over her head. And I'm going to start creating some branches with some berries on them. I think a couple of leaves would be nice too, so let's add some of those. For my colors, I want to go with a very Christmas red and then let the other colors be a little bit more muted. So I'll link the exact paints I used in the description. Let's soften those lines a little before we start so that our pencil markings don't show underneath the painting. Going from light to dark, I'm going to start with the skin tones first. For this, I mixed my red with a sienna and that creates a nice peachy color. Okay, so now let's start painting the beautiful festive red for those flower petals. While the paint is still wet, I'm adding some additional pigment in some areas to give the petals some variation, which makes them look more natural. I'm also going to add a little bit of veining on the tips of some of the flowers. So you can see right here I'm pulling the brush upwards towards the center of the flower, um, or vice versa, as you can see right here. And um, it gives the petals the sense that there's a little bit of texture to them. Using a mixture of gray and green, I'm adding some shading to the top of this dancer's bodice and also bringing that same color down to this leaf below. That same color will be used on all of the foliage in this painting. Just like with the petals, I'm adding some little areas of definition, wet and wet. And if you don't know what wet and wet is, I really suggest checking out this video on watercolor technique that I'll link above, which I think is really helpful and really beautiful. So you'll see right here that um, while the paint is still wet, I'm going to be adding some darker pigments um, here and there and letting the paints bleed into one another. Let's add a couple more layers and start building up the depth and definition in all of those areas like the leaves as well as all of the details in our Lady in Red. With the same red that we used for the petals, we're going to start painting in our holly berries, leaving a little spot of white on each of them which will give it that illusion that it's round and shiny. Mixing up a darker version of my gray and green, I'm going to go over my leaves one more time. And we're going to do the same thing for the body and some more of those details on the holly branches. And that makes everything look a lot more three-dimensional and deeper and um, just more sophisticated. And believe it or not, I'm going to use the same color for her hair. I've pulled out my white gouache from Holbein because I'm going to add some white veining on each of the petals, just like you would see on a real poinsettia. 
And you don't have to get too precise here. Um, it's just to add an element of texture. Let's add the same white details to the teeny tiny petals that are shaping up to look like the top of her flower dress. Next, with a 12 over 0 brush, I'm going to start painting in her facial features. So her eyes first, with long swooping brush motions for those extra long eyelashes. And then after that's done, I'm going to move to her lips, which are going to be a nice bright holly red. I'm taking some of that darker color that I used for her eyes and pulling it down towards her neck and torso and even her fingers to give it a little more definition. And that's it, we're done. And to my artist friends, please never forget to sign your work. So I hope you enjoyed this video and perhaps it gave you some ideas for um, holiday cards that you could make for friends or maybe a gift like a bookmark or something. Um, like always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.